Hey, how's it going? For today, I want to head over towards the Dragon Trench and set up an outpost. Now, normally I don't have one over there, but we're going to be spending quite a bit of time over there for two different reasons. One, we're going to be grabbing eggs of each flavor. That way we can do the boss fights with them. And then we also need to grab talents for the apex kind of drops for doing the boss fights. So instead of just respawning over here and then flying all the way back over there, because it is on the other side of the map, what about an outpost? Got quite a bit of stuff in the bird already. I'm trying to think about what else we need. Now it's going to be a very, very small base. The only thing I want in there is a preserving bin, two of the storage. We'll have these outside, which can kind of collect the rainwater for us to be able to drink, because I don't think there's anywhere around there to set up a, one of the intakes. And then we've got a couple of everything else. I think the generator should be fine. So here's the thing, man. Not sure why, but we're... Hello? Not able to walk upstairs today. We're not taking any damage on our generator. Not sure if it's because I'm in PvE mode instead of PvP or what, but... I think the other generator should be fine, seeing how this one's kind of running okay. Still not sure 100% if we will set one up. If we do, great. If not, it's not the end of the world. Now let's change these to where they open out. Because I turned off the generator again, and I don't want to do that while we're building, so that'll kind of work there. Now I don't have another one of the refrigerators made, so only reason to have the generator set up. Oh, we need a bed. Kind of a key thing there. Let's grab some stuff. We'll make two beds. And then I think what I also want to do for storing the dragon milk whenever we do our milk runs, is I want to build one of these. And these got 40 slots, and that should be fine. If you kill an alpha, you get 50 of the milk, but I don't think we'll be killing one of those anytime soon, so that should be fine. For the other ones, you get five bottles from each one of the females. So let's grab some stuff, make that real quick, make a bed, and I think we're kind of ready to head out. So all we're missing is some sap and two metal ingots. Let's just grab all the sap. And however much of this we can carry. Should we make two? We can make four total. Let's make three. We'll keep one extra one here. Because I do want to move all this stuff outside. Might do that today. Might not. I think I decided that I want to put the two barrels right here. And then I want to set up the preserving bin here. With one more extra. And that'll give us the one barrel. Because we have one here. And the other two can go at the other place. That way if we do kill off one of the alphas... Have enough to store all that and somewhat be safe. Let's make probably two beds. We could do the bunk beds. I don't know if it's going to be tall enough, though. It's going to be a very, very small base, man. Like I said, an outpost, not really a base. So let's grab some of this, some of that, some of this, some of that. That might be enough. What are we missing? How'd I grab that? Oh, we're probably heavy on weight here. Let's make two of those. Let's take four. Just in case. Look, dude, it's dragons, man. <laughs> it's not going to be safe over there at all. Now, I did do some scouting over there and found a spot. I tried not to look over by the trench. I kind of want to experience it all at the same time whenever we're doing it here on camera. Might look at it today. Might kind of go over there in the next video and just do some egg runs. Now, I do have stuff set up, too, to set up our trap. So, we will be doing that today as well. Not really a trap. It's more of a, a way to buy us time whenever we steal the eggs. I'll show you, man. We've done it in the previous videos. Should we take some of the lights, too? Let's take... 10? 10 of those should be fine. I'm kind of worried about weight on the Argentavis. He's, he's pretty weighed down with stuff, man. I think we're good. Again, not sure about this, but I do have that. And I was thinking about taking a table to set that on. But again, it's going to be very, very... Uh, kind of like a, a low roof. What I want to do is an A-frame. When I say A-frame, not like this but like very close to the ground. So it won't be very tall at all. Probably just one or possibly two walls high. And it'll come from a slope all the way down to the ground. And the other side will kind of slope down as well. Not too sure, man. We'll have to see how it kind of works out. Kind of excited. Like I said, I never built those over there. So having one will be super nice. There's actually 10 there. Didn't realize I had some in there. Let's grab one moth for right now. Let's go this way. Well, just close the doors. Now, I thought about taking and setting up some of the plant species, but the last thing that I want is to accidentally call dragons over by killing stuff, right? So I think what we'll do is just not have anything. We're kind of really close to the trench, so it's, <laughs> it's definitely not a safe place. But at the same time, we should be okay, as long as I don't drag creatures over there. It's, it's a 50-50 thing, man. Like I said, I never built them over there, so kind of, uh, kind of worried about it. I think... Got the barrels. We don't. 
gonna say I think we're ready, but we're not. Let's grab these and we will be. Are we missing stuff for the fourth one? Oh, we only made three, right? Two for over there and one more for over here. Alright, now we're ready. Hopefully we don't kind of encounter any of the sandstorms. I don't care about the rain or the lightning, it should be fine. And where we're going to, is way over here. So the trench runs kind of like along right here. We're on the outside, very big trench. And as you can see, man, we are going very close to it. It's on the other side of kind of like a little mountain range. Like I said, we might be safe, as long as we don't kind of call them in. I didn't realize that the map is so detailed now too, man. You can see the lava river, plus the crystals. I know, Junior, don't yell at me, I'm coming, dude, I'm coming. So anyways, that's where we're heading to, and we'll see about getting our little outpost set up. Now one thing that's somewhat the same, but kind of different at the same time, is this little land bridge. There's four openings, there's one here, one there, and then like two more down there. It used to be a little bit different in ASA, but I like using these for setting up some pillars and stuff. And that kind of makes it to where, whenever we run from the dragons, we can come through here, they'll get stuck, and we can kind of go off that way. And some would be safe for the most part. That's kind of what I want to set up today. Put this land right here. We might be okay. Kangaroo, they're, the Morella tops are fighting something. Not sure what. That's fine, though. That's fine. Let's grab some of our stuff out of here. That's what we're using all these pillars for. Are we good on weight now? I think we are. So, what we want to do is make it to where we can come through here, but a dragon can't. And the thing is, if you get too far out this way, he will actually be able to loop back around and go over. Now with the new pathfinding, it <laughs> it might not work, dude. I don't know. But we're definitely going to try. So let's space them out enough for the Argentavis to fit. Right? Which should be fine there. Even though we're not using an Argentavis for this. Sandstorm coming. Is it Sandstorm? It is. Ah, dude, that sucks, man. But I don't want the dragon to be able to fit. So give me a few minutes, let me get this kind of lined out, and I'll show you what we have. We just want to make sure that we have these under the the edge of the uh, overhang there, right? So we kind of are one thing that kind of blocks us off without putting any of the ceilings. Super cheap to make. For the most part, it's just a bunch of pillars, you know? Need to clean all this out too. Dude is going to suck when we run out of salmon here in a minute. Alright, so we're just about done here. I think 200 pillars is almost perfect. The main part that sucks about this is trying to do all these top ones off of the Argentavis. <laughs> it sucks, dude. Uh, it's a pain in the butt. However, it does work out. We got 25 left. I want to keep some for building. So that should be fine, I think, for the most part. Let's double check. I got to remember the body on a dragon is a lot bigger than this. We should be able to fit in through here. Okay, we can't do there with the Argentavis. But right here we can. And that's perfect. Go through there, the moth will be able to fit through all that, and that goes all the way to the top. So that'll be kind of our, our one way to get out of this if we get into a bad situation. Not if, it's more like when, right? So, that'll work there. Now for the outpost, not too far away. It'll be just on the other side of the rocks here. I thought about building it over here. However, they will kind of go out and around and up and over eventually. And with the new pathfinding, they might do that right away. Not sure if they'll actually get stuck down there. Kind of hoping that they do. But that's something we'll figure out whenever we do our, probably the next video, we start doing our egg runs. It's, ah, uh, it's gonna be painful, man. I need to breed up some more of the moths, just in case, and try to get them leveled up. Main thing we need on that, like I said, is the health, and then stamina, right? I us grab all this stuff. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. A lot of good stuff there. Kind of a good thing, man. We got a, uh, a drop with a ring around it there, because we're building right here. Kind of like a good sign, man. So, I chose up here. Because there's no direct path for creatures to get up there. I mean, at least not the small stuff, right? If you had a Rex come up here, it would definitely be able to walk up here. It does lead all the way down. So for some reason, we get stuck with no tames. We can still get back up here without having a bird. But it's going to be super small, man. And like I was saying, it kind of kind of overlooks a Dragon Trench. So as long as I don't mess up very, very bad, which, I mean, let's be honest, it is a possibility. We should be somewhat safe. I don't think the Dragons kind of wandered this far up. I know over there they do. They used to. Again, man, this is ASA. It's all different than ASE. So what do we get from that drop? Pistol. We got a Megatherium saddle. Don't really ever use those. We got a Carno saddle. Very, very nice. And then some other gear that we probably won't ever use. So, 
Drop all this in here. Let's, let's clear this stuff out real quick. We're actually going to need a little bit of flint and the stone for making up some of our spark powder. I brought a mortar and pestle, so we can always make that over here and never have to run out, right? All right, so that should work there. Kind of a nice view, man. Not too bad. I mean, it's all the mountains and stuff, but got the trench right there. You got the sand dunes. It's not too bad. All right, so drop all that off. Let's start off with the foundations. I think what we want to do is start it about right there. One, two, three, four, five. We want to do even number? Possibly, maybe. Set out some of these this way. And I brought some ceilings to kind of hang out over that if we have to. Alright, so that'll work there just for kind of staging. And then let's start on the walls. And try to figure out how we want it to be with the doors and stuff, right? So we got some walls, and then we're gonna need some of the slopes. Wrong walls. It happens, it happens. Two different flavors. I want... regular ones. So we could do two right there. Slope's coming down that way. Actually, let's do... Double doorway there. And wall there. Pick you up. Wall there. Let's do this. Let's do... Too high here. And slope it down. Do it like that. And on this side, do it like this. That look kind of cool, man. Do one more of these slopes up top. Perfect, man. Perfect. We could make it a little bit smaller if we wanted to, but I think that'll kind of work. Should be good, right? All right, so we're going to have enough stuff to build this is a thing. I think just two foundations deep might be fine. We could always do a third one if we want to. But don't forget, for the outside, we are going to have the deck out here, too. Probably use the ceilings like I was talking about. Let's put you up here. Or at least close enough so I don't have to keep jumping off. Alright, so what we want is let's drop off those. Let's grab these. I hope I got enough stuff made. I wasn't sure exactly how big to make it. I didn't want to overmake the adobe because we don't really have a use for it after this. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to actually change this over to the Frontier Pack look, or just leave it as Adobe. We are not going to be painting it, though. Hey, what? Why am I trying to jump? We can just go over here and run up the side. Yep, right here. Look, look. There we go. And we'll start this one. Oh, you know what? This is too tall. We should definitely drop it down by one. How do I make it so tall? Give me a second. Let me fix this. We'll bring it down and just make it one taller. We can do this side, though. Go ahead and connect these down to the ground. Nice, dude. Nice. I like it, man. I like it. So, if we leave this just too wide, that should be fine. Let's grab out some of our flat ceilings. Drop off all these for the moment. We might have enough of the walls. We'll see. And then we'll also grab some of... Where's the railings at? These. Can I make it? There we go. Let's place you there. And you guys there. And that'll work. We can still put the door up right there. Let's go ahead and close in this side here as well. We'll do the same thing. We'll put the door... right here to get out. Regular walls, man. Regular walls. That'll work there. I need some of the slopes. And then we might do just stairs going down here. 
I don't have the ceilings on me. And that'll work there. Alright, let's grab the slopes. I need to put some walls on the inside. We'll change those over to windows with the Frontier Pack regardless. Just to let some light in. Don't be weird. Do I have the Frontier Pack thing on me? I do. Let's do this, and we'll do... That regardless, and we'll do a window here, a window there, and then some here. There we go, man. At least we can see out. It's kind of cool, man. I like that the storm's over here, but it's not at the same time. Alright, so, that kind of works here. Let's put some doors on it. I brought all of our doors. <laughs> I didn't know how many we were going to need. We'll do this for open out. And open out as well. Nice. Let's grab some of our pillars. Or not pillars, but the railings. Only got 22 of those. That might be enough. Might not. We'll see. I thought about doing, instead of having it like that, I was going to put some of these up just to kind of block that and make it square on the inside. But, might be kind of cool just to have it slope all the way down. We'll see how many of these we have left at the end. We could go out one more on the deck, but I think we'll kind of be fine like this, man. I should have brought some of the clay pots to put up some uh, shrubs and stuff. We might still do that. Might still do that. Alright, so, that's good there. I do like the adobe look. Probably go ahead and keep it on this. And that works there. Let's grab some lights. Oh, you know what? For the lights, we need the generator anyways, right? Hmm. I didn't think about that. Now, we could put the generator in the roof, right? Maybe? We could put it right above this. We could also put it in the corner, too. I didn't grab the generator. Let's grab the barrels, too. We're gonna need this, we're gonna need that, these, and those. We could put this over here. That's gonna be just for catching the rainwater. Wait, don't, don't, uh, don't clip. And both of those filled up, it should hold, what, 15,000? Oh wait, that's, um, 5,000, okay. That's not too bad. That should be fine, man. I hope that it doesn't evaporate out of there, too. Not sure if that's a thing. I've never done the water tanks and actually not had them out by a tap, you know? Alright, so there's those. Let's go ahead and just put the generator over here, too, on this side. And all of our equipment is on one side. Is that sticking out of the roof over here? It is, barely. Let's move it some. Kind of excited about having a respawn point pretty, pretty close. Like I said, usually I don't, but... I think we might need it this time. <laughs> it all depends, dude. Alright, that's good enough. Put some gas in there. I don't think we really need a refrigerator. Because for the most part, man, all we're doing is the milk, and then we're taking it back to base soon as we get a... a full set of it, right? That's good. We got some more of the corner pieces, right? We do. Let's do this. Just to fill it in. Yep, did not mean to fall down that far. So that'll be a problem for sure. Oh, we can get back up. That was not going to cooperate. It doesn't really matter. I just thought it looked nice to have it go all the way to the ground like that. Please do not fall down there. Holy crap, dude. I do have the moth on me, but we might die and I don't have the beds out yet. <laughs> that would suck, dude. So bad. Yeah, so all these are going to be too far down. I mean, that's fine. I mean, that's fine. Speaking of beds... Wait a minute. Here we go. Let's put the beds out before something bad happens. 
I think what we want to do with these is put them here in the middle of the floor. Heat wave. It's never a good thing. Because I don't know if we put them very far over to here, if we'll actually not spawn there, because they're blocked. Could be a thing. Doesn't have to look pretty, because, like I said, it's just for respawning. Now, we could put some ceilings up there and put them on top. I gotta have my balcony, dude. I have to have my balcony. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do we have the ceilings? We do. I didn't bring a ladder. That's fine. We can make one. Now, the question is... Can we still respawn up there? Because it's so close. We could if we do it this way, I think. Don't, don't, don't clip like that. It's being weird. Alright, so there's that. Let's do our railings. Wait, can we do railings? We can't. Because it'll kind of block that all together. So that'll work there like it is. And that's kind of set there. Let's grab some of our lights and stuff. I need those set up, I need that. Put these outside. Not the big ones. Do one there. One there. Do some outside as well. Where is that set at? Is it even with the... It is. The glass window. Now this light should bleed inside. So we shouldn't need any in there, I don't think. Let's turn the generator on and see. We'll close the doors. It's kind of, uh... Kind of dark out as it is, anyway. We got some light from that, too. Why is there a... It sounds like we're on fire. Is that from the heat wave? I've never heard that before! It's like a crackling sound. We can use some lights in here. Get them above the door. And we can see for sure. I like it, dude. I like it. Alright, so for the storage... We'll set it like right here. I think one might be enough. We'll keep the second one just in case. And for this, we're going to put it on the ground. That's mainly going to be for making our spark powder and stuff. Do we have any stuff in here? We got this. We need a little bit of flint. Let's see if we can grab some real quick. We're just dying slightly from the heat wave. I mean, it's fine, dude. It's fine. We are super overheated, too. Our health's not really going down much. What time of day is it? Oh, it's still early in the morning. It's not even that hot out, man. So, let's throw this into water and pestle. And just had the spark powder sitting there. Now that's going to be just for the dragon milk, for the most part. I think it'll work out, and we should be able to put it into the preserving bin. But it might be kind of like the... Or not the preserving bin, but the barrels. But it might be kind of like the polymer and not work. I don't know, man. So I had this kind of as a backup, you know. We don't need too much of it, so that should be fine. Let's give you these. Move you out of the way. Could put some of the railings along the top there. I think it'll be fine, though. We should need to have all that stuff. It doesn't have to look too pretty. That kind of works, man. We kind of need something on the edges of the thing there. Where it kind of just ends off like that. Should we do some of the railings? Let's see how they look. We got some, right? We got 15. Safety first, man. If they'll actually clip in. Now, it might not look good. If it doesn't, we'll go ahead and remove them. But if it looks alright, we'll go ahead and leave them. Not there. Just go straight up on the top. We'll see how this one side looks, and then we'll do the other side as well. Kind of connects right here. And makes it to where it's, it's not just free-floating, you know? See how this side looks. I kind of like it. Especially if we do it on that side there. It'll match. Let's go ahead and do that side too. I thought about making a big enough area for the moths to land. But again, it's just going to be bigger than what we need it to be. 
And we have enough of these. We got five. Oh, that sucks, dude. We're gonna be like barely shy on it. We <laughs> we need one more. Not a big deal. How much is it to make it? I think all we need is a little bit of wood. Some trees down there, but that is also the dragon area. We're getting heat stroke, man. Oh, you know what? I meant to bring another another tent. Can I set it up in here? I can't. We can set it up out here though. Get rid of our heat stroke. Drink some water. Eat some food. Now I will bring some of these foods out here as well. And throw them into the barrels. Totally forgot about it. When we go to do our egg run in the next video, we'll bring some out, leave them in there, and they should be fine. You see the heat stroke goes away very fast. And I'll bring an extra tent as well. So, we're going to need... I oh, need cactus too. Look, dude, look. This turned out to be more than what I planned on. I'm not sure if there's any cactus over here. Give me a minute. I need some cactus sap, and then a little bit of trees for some wood. We can make up that last one, and that should be good on our little outpost. I like it, dude. I like it, man. It's it's small. It's kind of homey. It works out. That's a cool-looking carno. I'm not a fan of red, but it looks kind of cool, man. A baby thorny dragon. Look, man, we already had some issues with those. Killing off our teams in the last video. I don't want to deal with them, man. I mean, I do eventually. <laughs> Just not right now. Is that sulfur? Oh, dude, it's a, yep, rock home. Over here, buddy. Drag you off the side. And that's sulfur. That's kind of weird having it just sitting out on the ground. There you go, Junior. There you go, man. Stay right there. You all right? It's right here. Don't be rude. Throwing stuff is rude. Especially at people you don't know. Just saying. Oh, it is. I could definitely take some of this. All I need now is a little bit of the... Raw salt, which should be right out there in the desert. And we'll be able to have the preserving salts as well to throw in the preserving bin. So we'll do that too, man. Put the sulfur here and not make it up until we need it. And just make up what we need, because it spoils so fast. Now, I usually have quite a bit in my inventory, but I didn't bring any of the vessels to make the store in. Seems like we got to find some cactus sap. We might make a vessel or two. Again, a lot of the stuff I didn't think about back at base. I plan on just doing uh, an egg run today. Then I got to thinking, too, if we die, it is very, very far for us to go to get back here. That's fine, man. That's fine. So might as well set up an outpost. Normally, I do my base not too far from here. Maybe over where that green drop is. Way out there, if you can see it. So it's usually not too far. Now it's it's super far because we're over by the green obelisk. Where is all the cactus at, dude? It's all the Joshua trees over here. All the guy needs is some of the cactus sap and a tent because holy crap, are we getting heat stroke? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, look, we are not leaning for that. There are micro raptors, pigs, and saber tooth. There's some cactus. There's another storm coming. Here's your bow is kind of chirping. Try to grab this real quick. Five. Okay, we got five. Look, dude. <laughs> we need a ton more than five, man. I'm just saying. I do not want to talk about how far I had to come to find some cactus. Over there where the outpost is? Absolutely nothing, man. None at all. So, I thought they were kind of all over the place. Apparently, they are not. However, we did find some of these small ones. You can pick by hand. You can use the kangaroo. You can use a whip if you have one. We have none of those, so it's fine. We should be good now. I'm way over by the obelisk, dude. <laughs> way over here. So, let's go ahead. Head back. Try to make our stuff up. I think... We have enough. How much do we need for a vessel? Now, I know we need to get some sand. So we need 20 of the clay. And for the railings, we need five more. So we should be good. Need to stop and hit some rocks. I need that for the spark powder anyways. And then for our sand, we're doing... We got 82, so we should be fine, man. Should be fine. Might as well stop over here and get it where we're somewhat safe. Even though we do have some rocks by base. Be good just to grab them right here, you know? Alright dude, so worst case scenario. We have got a sandstorm. I'm trying to head back to base. I saw it coming over the horizon when I was coming up over the uh, the ridge over there. Thought I could get back. Can we get struck by lightning? Is that a thing? It better not be a thing because holy crap, that would suck, dude. We die, the bird dies. At least we made it back. I wonder why he's not dropping stamina as fast as I do. I've already lost all my stamina, you know? Oh, that's our tent there. Need to make sure to take that with us. Alright, so, put the axe away. Give me this. Can I take all that? I can. 
Let's pick that up so it doesn't take any more damage. And we'll go ahead and leave that here. How is the durability on it? It's still pretty good. Leave you in here. Drop all of you in here. It's going to be almost 80, so that should be enough. I want this, this. We can take that back. We'll take those. I think that'll be fine. Oh, we need to make a ladder, too, to get up there. I mean, we really don't need to get up there. It's just coming back, you know, is a thing. So, let's do... We did not get any more flint. Not a big deal. Leave all this in here. We need that for building. We need some fiber as well. We've got some plants here. I can't jump to get back up here. Up on the bird. Now, do any of these storms give you rainwater? I mean, they shouldn't, but they do. Interesting. So it has not rained. Why are we getting water if we don't have any rain? Now, we do got a tap I need to set out as well. That's kind of weird, man. Just saying. It's a little bit strange. Glad we checked, though. I get a little bit of fiber. We'll set out the tap just on the, probably the side over where the preserving bin is. A little bit of this, we should be good to go. So all we're missing to bring back with us is one more tent and then some foods. Just to leave in the barrels there, you know? Let's close this. There we go. There we go. Alright, give me this. Let's do a railing. Just one. A vessel. Just one. And then we'll bring back some of the salts we can actually get out in the desert there and make up the preserving salts, you know? We'll put you right here. Nice, dude. Nice. I kind of want to test that out. We could just go from this bed to that bed. Make sure we actually respawn here. If not, we will respawn back at base and fly back here and grab our stuff. Our one thing is done. Let's set out the tap as well. I can go kind of just right here. There we go. Get us a drink. I like it, dude. I like it. Can we get up on the roof now? Right there. Nice, man. Nice. A nice little outpost in the desert. I kind of like this for a base. We might do a base design like this if we move and keep it super simple. I mean, <laughs> of course, a little bit bigger, but something like this. So, double check. Make sure we're good. Get a little bit of food for you. We'll put this stuff in the base here, just so we have it, just in case. Shouldn't need anything else. We'll drop everything off and try to swap beds real quick. Make sure we're good. Tell you what, let's just do this to make it easy. Put all of our stuff into here. We need to make sure to grab everything. Holy crap, I need to repair my boots, dude. These are almost broken. Three durability left, okay? It's a thing. We'll leave that. And all these. Always remember your cosmetics if you're going to be dying or transferring in between beds. I'm just saying. <laughs> Alright. If we do it from down here, we can. Just want to make sure we don't get stuck in the roof or anything. We don't. Perfect, dude. Perfect. So that does work up there. Nice, man. Nice. Alright, give me my stuff back. Every bit of it. Put you in here. We'll put all of you back on. I need to remember to repair my gear. Do our keep folder. And then, that's our moth. We're gonna leave that one here? I think we are. I don't want to leave them out, though. Let's just put them into here. And that should be fine. And we'll leave one of those, too. I did make some more, so we're kind of good on crowds for a while. Let's leave all these, actually, just in case. You never know, man. Never know. And that one will be good there for now. All we have to do is get some salts. We'll put some of our foods into here. Just our little uh, burger, burger things and the water. And that way we have it out here. I mean, we've got the tap here as well. We shouldn't use 10,000 water for any of our stuff. That's kind of set, dude. Do one quick aerial view. See how it looks. Close the front door. Don't want to let the bugs in. Like I said, I think we're going to be somewhat safe up here. Hide our hats. Because nothing can really get up this, I don't think, man, I don't think. We could always put in some railings up there if we need to. I like it, dude, I like it, ah, dude, well, not too bad of a day. Small little outpost, like I said, kind of decided last minute to set one up. Might make life a little bit easier. 
I'll go ahead and try to get probably two more of the moths set up and get some points into them. That way we have them over here and just have them as backups. We could bring one of the cryo fridges as well just to store our stuff in, but that might be kind of too much, you know? I want to keep everything somewhat simple and very easy over here. So next video, we can go ahead, jump down in the trench, do some egg runs, try to get those, probably die a couple times, and see how the, <laughs> see how the new terrain looks down there. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you like our small little outpost over here by the Dragon Trench. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.